I collect everything that goes along with collecting vinyl. To me, the toys have the same sentimental value as collecting records, as, as doing graffiti and everything. So So Deaf, if you look at my label, here he is right here, his name is So So. Um, <laughs> at first I didn't really like it because I thought that an afro, it just seemed like it was taking me to, taking me back into the 70s or something. So I don't know if this afro thing goes with what I'm trying to do. And people started really, really recognizing the logo so much that it was just like, oh, okay. This, this is, you know, it's a unique logo and it's very, very distinctive. This is Andre, big boy. The Bon Jovi doll, Richie Sambora. I mean, I got everything in here. All of these toys cost a good amount of money, but if you know anything about this, you know that the Beastie Boys, the Beastie Boys toy is $2,500, this pack right here alone. I bought two of those. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm so serious about this. Like, I, I, I get the books. These are all toys. It's like, they look like, they look like they're really dressed like people, but they're toys. And this is part of collecting. If you into it, you gotta be into it, right? So, this Smurf, somebody painted. And I was like, oh wow, black Smurf. And I'm like, okay, that's cool, cause that, ain't, that don't even exist. I'm like, I got something that nobody has ever made before. And then I went to Japan. And when I got to Japan, boom, the actual box and the black Smurf that actually comes from the Smurfs. And this is where I found it in the store in Japan. And I was like, no way. I was like, it's no way it's a black Smurf. And sure enough, and his name is Cave Smurf. And he never really came out the cave. So he's black. Uh-oh, James, you're dead. My collection of photos, uh, pictures with damn near everybody. Me and Troy Aikman, because I'm a super, super Cowboys fan, so. It's me, Nelly, Murphy Lee, and Tyrese, Monica, Chris Tucker, me and Dallas Austin, the Rush Brothers, Rev Run, and Russell Simmons. That's me as Hugh Hefner for Halloween. <laughs> me and Mike Tyson, Justin Timberlake, Magic Johnson, Quincy Jones, Chris Tucker, Bono, Usher, and myself. Me and Barry Gordy, this was one that really is, means a lot to me because that's the person that I actually really, really look up to more than anything in the world. Mariah has her own picture on this wall. <laughs> She's the only person up here that has her own picture. And she sent this picture to me. She took a, see, I got her a special social dev jacket in pink. She took a picture in the jacket and sent that frame to me. This picture really means a lot. This picture has me, um, Kevin Lyles, Lior, all members of Run DMC, Ed Lover, and Charlie Mack. And, and this is when Run DMC um, got their fingers in the, the Guitar Center thing, yeah, in, in, in Hollywood, and all three members. This is where you see my collection of everything. This picture right here means so much to me. This is Michael, I don't know, he's probably 11, 12 years old. This is Michael Jordan picture. I think I paid $10,000 for this. Um, it's one of the dopest pictures ever of Criss Cross to me. These are my nights of me collecting <laughs> Ace of Spades bottles. And, you know, each night I would come back home with the bottle and boom, boom, I collected it. And then in here is the game room. This is a plaque that I made myself that's signed by Mariah that just shows you exactly what the Emancipation of Mimi album was actually doing and how long it was number one on Hot 100. Around here is the club. You know, we get bored and we have to, we run out of ideas and we need things to think about. Um, we come in here. When we built this room, I wanted a stripper pole. I wanted to make sure that, you know, we could have what 
is in the clubs and what's going on, you know, everywhere else. A part of this so that we can bring the party here. So, you know, what's crazy about this is that not every woman that comes in here, or every girl that comes in here, they always want to get up here. It's like a magnet. It's like they just want to get up there and see what happens. Um, they want to see if it's strong enough to hold them for one. And then if they can spin around and do it, all these little tricks. Like if I leave girls in this room and I walk out, I'll come back in here and they be up there on the pole doing all kind of crazy. So that's what it is. <laughs> and this goes to the basketball court. When you want to take a break from the studio and go somewhere that doesn't feel like you're still in the studio, just come in here and... It's been many nights where this games that's been played in here, Fabulous and Bow Wow played each other in here one full game. And I mean, it's been a bunch of games that's been played in this room. I had Allen Iverson on this court, Josh Smith. A lot of basketball players been in here. But uh, Jordan, nah, if Jordan ever came here, his name would be on the, I would've definitely got him to sign it. Matter of fact, now I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna get all the basketball players to come over here and start signing the court. It's what we do when we're not making records. Ah. This picture right here means the most to me. Um, Rick Ross thinks he's Big Meech. I think I'm Barry Gordy. <laughs> you know, and he signed it, by the way. For the person that you think you are to know that you think you're that person means a lot. And that's what this is. I mean, I made a lot of different references to letting Barry Gordy know that I admire what he did. And I think when I go to sleep that, um, I'm him, and I'm supposed to do everything that he did and more. So this is one of the, like I said, this picture means a lot. So every day when I walk in the studio, this is the picture that I wanted to see. Like, Jermaine, until you, you, until you reach the heights to this man, you ain't did nothing yet. I did a little bit, but I ain't do this. <laughs>